What's up YouTube, Snatchpato here with Tactic of the Day number 5. This game was played between Benkovic and again, apologize for the pronunciation, Kachev <laughs> in 1969. Uh, it is white to move and as always if you want some time to solve the puzzle make sure you pause the video because I'm about to show the solution. Okay, in this position it's white to move and white has a devastating blow. Now, you'll see that the king is kind of isolated in the center there, and white, white's best move immediately attacks that king position with the nice move, knight takes e6. Now, the knight cannot be captured. The knight cannot be captured, and I hope you saw this when analyzing this position before solving the puzzle, but after not, uh, f takes e6, White has the move Queen H5 check, attacking the king. And as you'll notice, this dark squared bishop is doing a great job of covering the king's escape. The only move here is G6, and then White has two ways to solve this puzzle. Either Bishop takes G6, and after H takes G6, Queen takes G6, mate. There's no piece to block on F7. Or even more aesthetically pleasing, Queen takes G6. H takes g6 and bishop takes g6 with a beautiful double bishop checkmate. Uh, one other line that I'll point out, uh, this is what black actually tried in the game. Queen takes e5, hitting our queen, but then there's a beautiful resource. I hope you can find it. If you need more time, make sure you pause the video, but you might have seen the hint as I'm holding my mouse here on the knight. Knight c7, checkmate. Note really well that the queen cannot capture the knight because of this pin. And this bishop is cutting off all of these squares from the king. So that is a beautiful checkmate that results from the line that black played. And perhaps black put it on the board because they were in a losing position and wanted to see a really nice checkmate. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the best move, move suggested by the computer for those interested is actually queen b6. And white gets out of this upper pawn by playing knight d8, threatening the bishop. Um, and the bishop can't escape to any squares here. So, um, I mean, if the bishop wants to play something like this, then I'm sure the computer has lines. But this king, is, this queen is just getting booted around. And um, white will eventually crash through with e6. And this king is way too exposed in the center. And it will fall. So what the computer actually suggests instead here is just bishop e7 to cut off this bishop's diagonal. And then white goes ahead, trades off a piece there, trades off a piece here, and the computer gives a plus three advantage for white. So I hope you enjoyed that tactic, guys. As always, make sure you like and subscribe, share the video around. If you like the video, make sure you like the damn video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Always stay classy. Peace!